You're talking to the wrestling t-shirt wearing, championship ring wearing, deal stealing, toy dealing, hot wheel riding, dragonfly flying, son of a gun. And I'm having a hard time keeping these credit card bills down. Welcome to a flare for toys. It's that uncultured heathen. It's your boy beef. We're here today. You know what day it is. It's Wednesday. So it's still wrestling Wednesday. So this is the double header. I told you I was going to try to get to it. So here we go. So it's WrestleMania season. And it couldn't have been WrestleMania without this guy. Because without him, don't know if there would have been any WrestleManias. So without further ado, you already know who this is. What you going to do, brother, when the largest arms in the world run wild on you? Say your prayers. Take your vitamins and open this package. Brother, 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 brother. All right, so what we got today, we got not Hollywood Hogan. We got the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan. Supposed to be from the debut, what, 1994, I think. WCW, WCW. So... Left WWE, went over to WCW. So, pretty cool looking figure, it looks like. So, without further ado, get the old man goggles on. Got the flare of toys knife. And let's get to it. So, all right, see what we got here. Now, I think we have the other three that are on here. And then the variants. Just haven't got to them. Like I said, I've been way, way behind. So we're trying to catch up on some. <clears throat> we'll get there one day, but probably not. Cause we keep buying, we don't stop. You can't stop me. All right. So here's Hulkster in his plastic prison. Got the little belt and stuff. Pretty cool figure. Most of the Hogan figures are pretty good. Usually about the only issue with them is sometimes it's not tan enough, but this one doesn't look too bad. So, got the extra hands. Look at this, Hasbro. Three sets of hands. Anyway, got the holster belt. Now, you notice he didn't have no title with this one. This is before he won the WCW title. From I think Rick Flair. Oh, they're Baldy Locks. Right. Get that out of the way. Old Man Hogan. Now, I'm not sure exactly what year this is. I think it came out a year or two ago. See if I can see real quick. Yeah, 22, 2022, so not that old. But, ooh. Now I know what they're saying about my head glaring. Probably bald you with both of these. Now you went blind. But, nice little shirt, soft goods. Open in the back, take it off if you want. Nice looking boots. Hogan can do the splits. You know, you got to have that big leg drop. Boom. All right. Got the 24-inch pythons. Pretty nice figure. Got a Hulkster on the side right there. Mm. But, yeah, he need that bandana on. You look way better like that. Well, you know something, brother. Well, you know, Mean Jane. Sting Jean. <laughs> but this is a cool figure. I never was the biggest Hogan fan, but I mean I, I get and I give him props for what he did. But he, he made he you know he helped make wrestling mainstream and stuff with the rock and wrestling and all that other stuff back in the day. And he used to watch the cartoon, if y'all remember that. Yes, I'm old. I know. Got the little wristbands. I mean, this is a nice figure. That's what I'm saying. 
you know, people always ask me, what line do you think is doing the best right now? Man, these Mattel figures are, are really good. But, stands up, got the belt. Now this, I probably have trouble putting on, but we'll see. Maybe not. So, got the holster belt on there. Now you see Cody got that belt. I wonder who he took that belt from. You know what I mean? Just saying. But I figured being WrestleMania season, you got to bring out at least one Hulk. And trust me, we got plenty of Hulks. And there's plenty more coming our way. Uh, the WCW... Uh, WWF Monday Night Wars should be hitting the stores if they haven't already. They hadn't hit my area yet, but I know some people who have got them. So, but there's the largest arms in the world, the 24-inch pythons. But this is a really nice figure. Like I said, this is when he first went to WCW. This is before he made the turn, before he went bad, before he went heel, and started the NWO. Oh, for life. That's way before that. But, you know, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Hogan fans, some not. I mean, he, he had some good matches, but he wasn't ever going to be like the best wrestler, but he was a good showman. You know, he could cut promos and stuff like that. I mean, he might have said brother about 30 times during it, but it is what it is. Brother. Brother, 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 brother. And I probably said it 30 times on this show already. But anyway, like I said, we got the extra hands over here. You got two hands like that. Then you got two gripping hands. So I guess if you want him to hold a microphone or whatever in his hands. But I really like this figure. Good figure. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I ain't going to get too long-winded. It really ain't the place for it, but everybody knows what's going on with TikTok. So I'll try to put it on here if I don't forget. But you can also switch over to YouTube. You can switch to YouTube and find me over there. So if this thing shuts down, we can still do it. I'm thinking about trying to go live maybe once a week over there. Um... I've been thinking about maybe doing it on Thursdays, but I'm not sure. I may try it tomorrow. I don't know. If I do, I'll try to put out a video, let everybody know. But I really hate what's going on, and I'm not going to get into everything like that because that's not my expertise. I don't want to say stuff that I may not know about. I can talk about wrestling figures because I know that, but I know the whole thing. They're wanting them to sell it or shut it down or whoop de woo whatever, but... Hopefully that don't happen. We're starting to build a really good toy community here with action figures, comic books, and stuff like that. This is a good place for people to vent, get help with their problems. Some people make money, do business on here, make a living doing this. And, you know, the government wants to shut them down, whatever. For what reason, I really don't know. I'm not going to get into that, like I said. But I really hope it don't happen. But if it does, we can always switch over. And we'll find each other on other places. We can get on Instagram, stuff like that. I am on there too, at a capital A, Flair for Toys, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. I really don't like Facebook and Instagram too much because you can't do all that. But maybe we can get YouTube going and we can all hook up and do lives together and stuff like that if this thing happens. But we don't know what's going to happen yet. So we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. You know what I mean? But I'll put out another video about that later. This is Razzling Wednesday, but I just wanted to give a little mention to that. So, anyway, until then, what you gonna do, brother, brother, brother? Well, I may be leaving, but I'm still that uncultured heathen.